Good evening, I'm Angie Williams, the Montgomery Beale High School Principal. On behalf of the school board, administration, faculty of the Mount Iron Buell Independent School District 712, I welcome all of you to our commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2014. Our commencement ceremony is a dignified affair to honor all graduating seniors. With respect to all families in attendance, I ask that you contain your enthusiasm for your son or daughter until the end of the ceremony. This will ensure all who attend have an enjoyable evening. As students exit the auditorium, they will gather on the sidewalk in front of the auditorium to toss their caps and receive congratulations from family and friends. The chemical-free grad party will follow graduation. Students need to be at the Buell Library by 10 o'clock with doors being locked at 10.30. I would like to thank Kathy Georgie, Senior Class Advisor, and Joyce Hansen, High School Secretary, for all their work to bring everything together this special evening. I also would like to thank all the parents and teachers for their dedication and commitment to the students in this graduating class. At this time, I would like to invite Neil Schroeder, 2014 Class President, to the stage. I'd like to welcome everyone to this solemn and joyous occasion. It has been a long 13 years, but here we are, ready to graduate. We've worked hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to the following people. To our teachers, thank you for unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job to do it, but you did it for us, or you did it for us, went beyond and went beyond the call of duty. We took the time to explain assignments, sometimes repeatedly because we weren't paying any attention. You allowed us to come to your classroom after school for extra help when you could have gone home and spent time with your family. You put the effort to make lessons more interesting so we wouldn't just tune out. You demanded excellence from us whether or not we wanted to give it, and you set the bar high and challenged us to live up to it. To our parents, Thank you for supporting us in more ways than it's possible to count. You dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothed for school. You herded us to the door, to the bus stop, or drove us uh, to school yourselves. You helped us with homework, paid our fees, listened to our complaints. You brought us to many practices, attended our games, and were always there to cheer us on whether we did well or not. You consoled us over our daily dramas, but tried to give us enough space to learn how to work things out for ourselves. There are just a few of the thousand of ways you've supported us on our journey. To our coaches and club leaders, thank you for making school about more or making school about more than just classwork. Through sports, we learned how to power on through adverse, adversity and give it our best effort when or lose. We learned the importance of discipline and sportsmanship. Through other activities like participating in clubs, school plays, and service projects, we learned how to work closely with others to achieve a common goal, and we had the, a lot of fun doing it. To our principal and office staff, thank you for keeping things running smoothly so our teachers could concentrate on us. We're better off for it. To our wonderful guidance counselor, thank you for listening and trying to keep us on the right track for graduation. Without your help, some of us might not be graduating today. Lastly, to ourselves, our small and close-knit class stuck together through all that we went through, all that we encountered, and there will always be the memories that stick with us. The times in elementary, from the cruise to the subway tables, and our trip to watch half a Twins game, to being so nervous to start seventh grade because we'd be the young kids who would just be starting at the bottom all over again. The high school was a whole new experience in itself. We had seven teachers instead of one or two, seven people to challenge and to be challenged by. It's so hard to believe that all the older kids we looked up to are us today. We have come so far. The time we spent here brought us closer yet. From getting yelled at collectively as a grade, to taking trips and supporting our teams, these memories will never be forgotten. Together we overcame many obstacles that were thrown at us along the way. We shared struggles. Now our time of working together has come to an end. 
this will be one of the biggest strugg struggles we have to overcome, but we'll make it through. We always do. As you can see behind every graduate, there must have been at least a dozen people providing support in at least a dozen ways. The best way we graduates can show our gratitude is to make the most of the opportunity we were given and go forward in the world with the intention of making it a better place for the generations that follow us. We'll pay that better gratitude forward. Thank you. sure if I was going to get an introduction. <laughs> this is it. This is the official day that I and my classmates say goodbye to our family. I don't mean the family at home who supported it and berated us and gave us the values we hold now. I mean the family that shared over seven hours a day for 13 years of our lives. Considering that we graduate at 17 to 21 years of age today on this stage, we used over half of our lives on each other. It is those surrounding you that have shaped you into who you are today. It was the kid you always competed against that made you stronger. It was the friend who was always ready to listen that made you able to share. It was the person who made you laugh that stopped you from going mad during school. Without people like this in our lives, we cannot discover who we are and who we want to be. Whether they were good memories or bad, we have all left an impact on each other. I won't ever forget trying to outcount Carrie in first grade or kicking Neil under the table in kindergarten. I won't forget the concerts or mega parties with my class, the bus ride to our sixth grade field trip, the sports bus ride did, and state over and over and over again. We'll never forget the day new students walked into our grade and stayed, or even the students that left and had rumors swirling that they would return next year, every year since they left after leaving. <coughs> Riley, Levi. <laughs> I don't think anyone will ever forget Sarah and her laughing fists, Kirsten with her amazing laugh. Every time I see a spider, I'll think of Erica leaping out of her desk in Miss Bush's science class when she heard there was one above her seat. Everyone has left a unique memory for each of us to connect with who they were. If only the yearbook was able to capture everything that made a person who they are beyond a photo and a quote. It can't capture a laugh that you can recognize anywhere, the tone of voice when someone is trying to be dirty, the expressions on faces after hearing their first Burke story, or someone's natural swagger. We will never find this mix of individuals ever again. Each member of this class is irreplaceable in the niche they created here at MIB. We will move on, of course, pursuing different degrees and careers, meeting new people that challenge us and make us laugh, but they will never be the people we grew up with. It wasn't just our fellow students that changed us, it was the teachers that brought us here the teachers that taught us to read and speak, and the teachers that taught us to think for ourselves. Thank you for being there for us and pushing us forward until we reach this day. Thank you to the elementary teachers, many of whom left our school system after having our class. Must have been because we were such an amazing class, they couldn't handle the possible disappointment of the classes after us. It definitely had nothing to do with the constant bribery needed to get us to behave. Like the jars of beads in kindergarten that, once filled, would have allowed us to have a party for good behavior. We never got a party. <laughs> or the ladder system in second grade where your name moved up the ladder if you were good. The middle rungs were crowded. Eventually they realized that our integrity was too great to be bribed away and we could not be changed and they let us be. Truly we weren't that bad, but I'd like to apologize to Mrs. Holtman who was fortunate enough to have us for her first class as a teacher. You're a great guidance counselor now. <laughs> Thank you, Mountain Iron Buell, for raising the class of 2014. Your rustic charms have also made us into who we are. We learned to be quiet without having any doors growing up in the merit. I didn't even realize that not having doors to a classroom wasn't normal until I started talking to students from other schools that identified us as that weird school with no doors. <laughs> we learned that a building really can take a lot from a mind blast, and a little shaking is normal. We learned that the right ratio to open window to stop the heater from coming on Miss O'Malley's last room is the last window open to a maximum of three inches. MIB was full of life lessons from the environment and the teachers. Thank you, Mrs. Fox, for teaching us that math does not make you feel better when your stomach is upset. I'm sorry, Caleb, that you had to learn that lesson for the sake of the class. I learned that if a rich farmer is interested in you, snap that man up 
everything is relative and that economics equals supply and demand and the economy is just as relative as everything else. <laughs> Thank you very much, Burke. These lessons will serve us just as well as the education we received at MIB. Goodbye, Mount Iron Buell High School. Thank you for the memories, the sports, the people, and the environment. If I could go back, I wouldn't change a thing about how MIB brought us up. <laughs>